So, Scythe's best-selling air cooler and one of the most purchased air coolers, at least on my Amazon Affiliates Program account, just got a lot better. Scythe's Mugen 5 has been updated, adding an additional fan for an out-of-the-box push-pull configuration. And this time around, the Mugen 5 is getting that all-important RGB treatment. So let's see if this air cooler looks as good as it performs. So one thing I noticed when I made that last, or maybe one of those videos where I went through all my Amazon affiliates reports, uh, I kept noticing that a lot of you guys had purchased the Mugen 5 and many of you that purchased that cooler also went on to purchase one of those uh, Kaze Flex 120 ARG fans from, you know, Scythe as well to go with it. Well, now that's no longer necessary. The new Mugen 5, the new, I guess we should call it the Mugen 5 ARGB ships with two Ks, sorry, my bad, Kaze Flex 120 ARG fans, giving you one additional fan than the previous version and more RGB than thought possible on an air cooler. These fans rotate at a maximum speed of 1500 RPMs and are rated at a CFM and a static pressure of 66.47 and 16.38 respectively, while having a maximum published noise level of 29.75 dBA. These fans are 12 volt, four pin PWM fans with a three pin ARGB cable as well. Um, these, this three pin ARGB cable, also it has like a built in splitter. So if your board is running short on RGB headers, you can daisy chain uh, a couple of the fans together, probably even the top cooling plate or cover, ARGB cover as well. If you have a board with no three pin RGB headers, this cooler does ship with an ARGB controller that it has 14 preset lighting modes as well as, as five uh, fan speed settings. This controller also has a nice magnetic back so when you mount it in the back of your case, you don't gotta do any goofy taping, it'll just stick right on there. So this version of the Mugen 5 also maintains its asymmetrical design for a maximum RAM clearance. You're not gonna have any issues with tall RAM sticks on your motherboard. With six heat pipes passing through its base plate and both the base plate and the heat pipes are copper that is, is also nickel plated. So nickel plated copper, easiest way to say it. Overall dimensions of this air cooler are 136 by 134 by 157.5 with a, with a weight or a girth of 35.84 ounces if that matters to you. And then obviously the most striking difference between this cooler and the previous version is the ARGB top cover. Also, you get the, the, the two fans, which are ARGB as well, but you get that top cover. So now the whole cooler is done up in ARGB and it's compatible with almost every board manufacturer out there uh, with the exception of maybe a couple, but here's the list. Now, before we get into performance, there is a note for you fellow AMD users out there like myself. Um, if you want to use this cooler, you need to have a board that has the original backplate with screws. If your board uses those plastic pins, this cooler will not be able to mount and you uh, won't be able to use it. So make sure you have that aspect of your board correct before you go and purchase the Mugen 5. Mugen, I'm sure there's a correct way of saying it, but... Let's see what it looks like. I actually haven't even opened it up. Well, I guess I have opened it up. That's a lie. I haven't really took a that close to look at it yet. But let's see what we got going on here. Mounting stuff. We have a RGB fan. Oh, here we go. So yeah, it has the same cable with the splitter. So you should be able to daisy them all together which I will give a shot, but I've not had any problems in the past using size uh, splitters like that to link a bunch of different RGB things together. Another fan. Okay, well, it's... I will say when I pulled this out of the box, originally when it showed up, just to get a good look at it, or initial look at it, I thought this looked a little plasticky, but now, after opening it up and looking at it in some better lighting, it's actually not too bad. So even if you don't want... I mean, I, I, it's, it pains me to say this. If you don't want to have RGB on, this doesn't look too bad. It would look not look pretty decent in a case, especially since a lot of boards are have black and like a silver accent. This is not silver, but it would match pretty pretty nicely. So, not bad. And it's also it's way better than looking at the top of heat pipes. I think we can all agree. So let's get this put on the old test bench here. I think I still have the, yeah, I do. I still have the old 2500K, the same CPU I ran the original Mugen on, and we'll see if it performs just as well and how it looks. BRB. 
All right, so testing's done. I actually went back and looked at the old video of the Mugen 5, the non-RGB one, and uh, the scores for that one, so it, it had an average temperature of 20 or 66.8, a room temperature at that time was 21.3, uh, for a Delta 45.5, but I did notice that, because I, I was checking it as this was running, I had the that processor actually clocked a little lower, but when we look at this one, um, I think actually in that last test it was like 4.8 gigahertz, 4.9. Now I'm not sure if the V cores were the same, so keep that in mind. But the the Mugen 5 RGB 69.4 for the average room temperature 22.3, uh, Delta 47.1. So it looks a little higher, but I would say definitely within the margin of error. And given that it's probably clocked a little higher this time, uh, there's really no difference between the two, which is very interesting considering you get another fan. So. That doesn't really, I guess, at least for me, it didn't really seem to matter too much. Uh, two fans, one fan, the cooler still performed just the same. I did notice, though, when you get that mounted in there with both fans, that the, your exhaust fan for your case and the back fan for the cooler are like, they're like right together. So they're pretty tight in there. It fits, no problems. And I guess if you mounted the cooler uh, sideways, so the scythe writing was more normal, so you could read it, it wouldn't be a big deal. But that was something I did notice. But all in all, I think I think I like it. If I was, um, I'm not really a big air cooler guy. I normally like AIOs or custom water cooling. But if I was going to buy an air cooler, I think that this would be the one I went with, just because I'm one of those RGB weirdos, and I just like how it looks. There's the RGB on the top cover really takes takes the air cooler to the next level because you don't have to look at those goofy heat pipes. Scythe normally does a good job by, you know, capping them, but I like this a lot better. It looks clean. There's no hot spots. Nice, easy, nice, smooth look, and you get two awesome RGB fans with it. So if you want an ARGB Mugen 5, check my links down below. Pick yourself up one. They work good. And I think you'll be happy. Till next time.